All right, YouTube. We are out this early, early morning at a local construction site looking for petrified wood on the ground. Yeah, that stuff is really everywhere around here. Um, to the point where you can kind of afford to be a little picky about it. It's got some pretty big pieces. You're going to see them in uh, mostly browns, but you're going to see some red ones too. And you're going to see a lot of them that have uh, agate banding as well. Pretty neat stuff. So we'll walk around out here and uh, see what we can find. So what I like to do is uh, go around freshly dug up spots at these construction sites. Uh, I'm in Parker, Colorado, which just happens to be a hot spot for some really nice petrified wood. You can kind of see that on eBay. There's a decent amount being sold on there. But just walking around, I want to show you this one piece that I've stumbled upon. And the only thing preventing me from getting it home is I, think, I don't think I know anybody around here that can help me lift this thing into my truck. It's probably about 150 pounds or so. A younger me could have lifted that up, but I'm not trying to get uh, exacerbate my back problems anymore. Somebody will come by and grab that, but that's just an example of what's out here. So let's keep looking. So here's a good example of the smaller stuff you can usually find laying around out of here. You know, it's nothing big, but you know, they're good size for tumbling or doing some other lapidary work. And they're pretty plentiful. You know, just walking around here, especially if you pay attention to where the trucks have been driving. Find a lot of nice stuff. I would bring some of this home, but I just have a ton of it already. It's a nice bigger piece. All right, let's keep looking. So here's a nice little piece I stumbled on. It's got some cool characteristics to it. Some nice uh, some bark left over there. I think that would clean up pretty cool. Let's uh, bring that one back with us. It's a nice example of the uh, red stuff I was talking about. It's gonna be hard to see right now. We'll, we'll take this and clean it up. There's a lot of agate running through that. Looks like maybe some opal. I think that's gonna be a really nice piece. We'll keep that one for sure. Here's another nice piece. I mean, it's mostly brown, but the reason why I picked it up is you can see that agate running through there, or chalcedony, or whatever you wanna call it. We'll clean that up at home and see if there's any more in there, all that dirt. So we got another one here. Has some nice bark on it. Nice little agate band running through there. I've got a lot of pieces like this at home, but I'm gonna take this with me so we can clean it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's another really nice piece right here. Some good coloring. Still a lot of the uh, bark characteristics. Got some red flowing through there. Take this home and wash it up too. I think we're gonna start heading back to the car though. I don't wanna take all of it, just enough to uh, show you guys what's out there. Okay, I'm not sure about this one, but it looks like it has promise. This little guy on the ground here. Might need to break out the tools. Look at that one. Just from that little bit that was showing. Let's take this guy home and clean her up. Look at that. Got some nice, some nice patterns in there. Great streaking. Love it. So I found a couple more pieces as I was walking by, but uh, I'm trying to stay out of the way of the construction crews. So I kind of got in and got out. But they're in the bag, and I will show them to you when I get home. We're just about back to the car right now. You can hear the, the trucks and heavy machinery zooming by. Um, 
probably not the safest place to be at the moment. This is a lot better on the weekends, at least as far as traffic goes. But I don't mind that much. It's okay. Just got to keep your head on a swivel. Here's another nice piece we found just by the side of the sidewalk. Got some more agate banding, some red, some brown. We'll leave this guy here for somebody else to find though. Don't need to take all of it, like I said. So one thing that's important to do when you're combing these construction sites is to ask permission. It's still private property, even though it's undeveloped. I did uh, talk to an administrator of this subdivision that they're building and they didn't mind that I was coming back here. I think that's a really important thing to do. Maintain respect between uh, yourself and the, the people who own the property. There we go, right by the car on the way home. Dug this guy out. Got some potential there to be pretty cool once washed off. So we're gonna take him home and this is gonna be our final rock of the day. So let's get over to the washing pit. Okay, we're back at the washing pit. As you can see, here's our haul for today. That big guy right there, as I was uh, driving away, I saw right next to a recent excavation, it was just kind of sitting there. These guys, the crews generally put them, put them out because they know that uh, a handful of us locals collect them. So it's no big deal. But uh, let's get these washed off and check them out. All right. So for this one, it's got some cool little agate banding in there. Still a little dirty on this side, but it doesn't look like we're missing much. Let's clean up that little spot there. I think that... Could be some exposed crystals. I've seen that before. Yeah, maybe. Might need to let that soak overnight. Pretty cool rock though. Now this one doesn't need to be sprayed off that much. I found this in a different part of the field that has a different soil content. Uh, people have told me this is carnitite that's been uh, caking it, which is a byproduct of uranium. But I've taken a Geiger counter to it and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show that it's dangerous. But that's some really cool, something going on in there. Some druzy, some other sort of weird crystal growth going on. Neat little piece. So I figured nobody really wants to watch me spray down the rocks individually, so I'll just show you the finished product as I do each one. I don't know if you guys remember this guy that we found. There's that big old agate band right there. Really neat. That would look pretty cool cut up into some slabs, huh? Or just kept how it is. They're all pretty cool in their own way. Here's our next piece. Don't know if you guys remember this one. It had the flat back on it. Nice little agate band right there. Some of these rocks just have dirt on it that takes a little bit more than a spray down. Uh, you can soak them in a uh, diluted bleach solution or some dish soap and water, combination of both. Nice little bark characteristics hanging off there. Pretty neat. Here's our next piece, a nice little limb cast. Has some really distinct wood features still in it. Nice little red streak going on here. Very nice. Here's our next little piece. Really cool patterning on that. Nice red and uh, brown mixed together. Really cool bark features. A nice thick agate vein running through there. You have to clean that off a little bit better down there. But very distinctive looking piece. Okay, look at that little agate vein running through there. That is pretty big. 
we're gonna have to do something with that. I don't know what yet. Pretty cool piece though. Okay, I think this is the piece we found at the end. Has some neat characteristics to it. A little bit of agate banding going on in there. Very nice. So for the smaller pieces, I wanted to save that red one to last because they usually have the coolest features in them and this one is no exception. Look at that. Super cool. Has that big opal vein going through it. A little bit of yellow there. Got some bark features there, but you got the, uh, I assume that that's quartz either uh, um, filled up with, uh, what was it? manganese magnesium I forget which one it is either that or carbon we had a big lava flow here several million years ago and that's what's caused most of this but you even see some agate banding going on in there I think we saw a little bit over here too yeah super cool piece Okay, this is the bigger one that we found towards the end when we were walking back to the car. I mean, that just looks like a piece of firewood, doesn't it? Except for the really distinct uh, lines and banding that you'll find in these sometimes. Super pretty. I'll probably at some point uh, cut off the ends of each of these and polish them up. And here we go for that final one as we were driving away. Really cool. Look at all that. There's just quartz running between all those little cracks. Some amazing imprints. On the outside, still looks like bark in places. On the ends, you can see some pretty funky veins running through there. And on this end, you got something even crazier going on. Not really even sure what that is, but look, you got whites and yellows and greens and blacks and reds and all sorts of stuff. So this is just an example of what Parker, Colorado has lying just a couple feet under the surface. Pretty amazing stuff. If anybody wants any information on uh, where to look for this stuff or things to look for in the ground in this area, please hit me up in the comments. All right. Happy hunting, everybody.